Hey guys, it's Gary. Just wanted to talk about going into Easter, um, actually connect it with what I do here for a living. Some of you guys know I restore antique and vintage furniture. Here's some of the pieces that we're working on right now. Um, these have been stripped. Uh, they come in really rough. I'll show you in a second what they look like a second ago. Um, these are stripped now and we are going to let them dry and we're going to sand them and give them the whole works and bring them back to like brand new. This piece over here is what it looked like when it came in. So you can see there is all this uh, chipping finish, very worn, it just aged. And um, when I was talking to Kyler about going into Easter, we were talking about how sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. And that's sort of what happens in the Easter story. Jesus had to die to then res you know, be resurrected and then give us uh, new life. And that's what happens sometimes in these pieces is that the process they have to go through in their world is kind of a miserable process. So. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy over here and we're going to cover it in a chemical that, let's just throw it in this tray here. This is our stripping tray. The first thing we have to do is, and normally I would wear safety gear, but for the video, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna cover it in this chemical, which is literally going to melt the finish off. So what that does is that is removing everything about its identity for the most part prior to the process. And that's kind of what happens sometimes. We go through situations in our life, I've, I've gone through them in my life for sure, where God has to, first of all, strip us of what we were and then begin the process of restoring us and renewing us into something new. And it's hard to go through it, but just like we see with the story of Jesus, uh, it's so worth it. In our lives, it's worth it too. So uh, if you're going through something now, be aware that God's probably doing something uh, and on the other side of it, might be a really great season, but going through, like even right now, the pandemic and what we're all dealing with, it's hard. But on the other side of it is going to be something that could be really special. So going into Easter, keep that in mind. Jesus went through something for you so that you can have freedom and you can have new life after it was all said and done. So I hope that's encouraging to you and I hope you guys have a happy Easter. It's going to be a different one this year for all of us, but it can still be great.